I've jacked up the back of the car by putting my jack underneath the rear differential and avoiding the, 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 the lip um, of the differential itself. Jacked it up and then put jack stand on, remove the wheels. Okay, before I start working on the rear brake, I'll have to tell the car to retract the park brake all the way so that the piston can be um, pressed back all the way in. So I'm going to press the start engine to position one. My doors are all my doors are closed. Position one. I'm going to press home and make sure I choose trip. I'm going to press the pick up the phone and then straight away press and hold the OK for a few seconds. And I'm in this workshop mode. Before I do that, I actually disengage the park brake. And then I'm going to say OK to replace brake pad. Press OK again. And now I can hear it, the motor in the back going retracting the park brake and now I will go and work on the rear brakes the first thing I'll do is remove this bracket um, it's just getting a screwdriver squeezing it this way and then it'll just come out and then around here there'll be this one here and this one here is a slider pin. Um, I just have to take out this plastic cap. And this will expose a 7mm seven, seven um, glider pin that we have to remove. And then we'll take this caliper out. Um, and then we'll have to remove the this bracket, um, the caliper uh, holder. Um, Sorry about the light, but it's held together by an 18 mil bolt, which is here, somewhere here. The light's pretty bad. Oh yeah, down here. It's an 18 mil bolt. That will come out. Then we would uh, take out this screw. We'll take out the disc, and then put everything back in the reverse order. So I'm going to use a screwdriver, squeeze, and that should just come out. Okay, that's out. So that glider pin isn't in on very tight at all, so it shouldn't take a lot of force to undo it. So there's the glider pin. So we just have to clean this up and put a bit of lube on it before we put it back. So this is the top glider pin that I'm taking out. Here it is there. Seems pretty pretty dry. I thought they were supposed to be uh, lubed.
Okay, I'm just going to hang this up somewhere safe so I don't damage the brake holes. So I'm looking um, at the back of the rotor. So here's the brake pad. Um, actually, the back piece is almost worn and that's why I'm get, I was getting the signal. Um, it's actually worn down the sensor. And this is the 18 mil bolt that we have to remove. Okay, that's loose. Now the top one. Eighteen mil bolt. Okay, there's the caliper holder. Okay, so now I need a T thirty to undo this bolt. It wants to come out already, so which is kind of good. That means it's not busted back back there. So I've cleaned around the rim here with a wire brush and then I put some anti-seize on this stuff. Um, and now I'm going to put in the new brake disc or rotor. I got genuine Mercedes one. They weren't actually as expensive as I expected. They were um, 340 Australian dollars for both. This one doesn't have to be super tight. So this disc actually has these three little dimples. So I guess when the disc wears down below that dimple, we don't see any more dimples. That means it's too thin and has to be replaced. So I've cleaned the caliper holder just with a wire brush and I'm going to reinstall it. By the way, this is ATE, so I guess ATE is the uh, maker of these brake components. And I'm going to torque the bolts down to 65 newton meter plus 45 degrees, um, according to FCP Euro. They're a pretty good guys, so I'm going to follow that torque setting. Okay, so I'm using Techstar brake pads um, I was assured that this is OEM or the guys actually make the pads for Mercedes um, so I've put some brake lube at the contact points uh, of the um, brake pads and I'm just gonna put it onto the caliper holder now So I'm just going to use this to squeeze the piston back. Of 
course I can only do these because I've set the car into brake pad replacement mode. Okay, that's gone all the way back. I just put some brake lube at the contact point here where the piston is to minimize any risk of um, squeal and squeaks. And I'll just clean I'll just clean the glider pin and then put a bit, bit of lube in it. Okay, so I've tightened the glider pin and put the uh, plastic cover back in and now I'm just putting this piece back and I'm just going to use this plastic pry tool to help me push it in so as not to damage the uh, rotors. And everything's in place now. Okay, I'm going to go back into the workshop mode to get out of the brake pad where um, setting. Okay, to exit position, press OK. I can hear the park brake going. Fitting position has been exited. Confirm OK. Okay.